happy. Right, I think that's going, yep, yeah. Yep. Right, I'm joined today by uh, England and Arsenal legend, and more importantly, Yorkshireman, Mr <laughs> David Seaman. <laughs> How are you doing, David? Yeah, not too bad, mate, not too bad. Um, yeah, enjoying being back here. Yeah. It's, been, um, it's been a long time since I was here. This hut wasn't here. No, no. Did this hut, this is a proper building, it's not a hut. Um, yeah, I came with uh, Jack a long, long time ago. All right. And then I was down here with Matt Hayes and Mick Brown. All right, oh, I didn't some, know that. Did I some pike fishing once. Right, go, yeah. I'm talking like 20 years ago at least. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the this year marks the 30th year that the uh, Carp Society have owned this place. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I used to be a member. Yeah. yeah. But then obviously I know like the troubles that they had and everything, and I thought, you know, and, yeah, I, yeah. and then I never, I thought it was done. But then I never rejoin, you know, but uh, I'm, I'm yeah, going to yeah. do. I'm yeah. gonna, definitely going to rejoin. Good man. Nice to have you on board. <laughs> and I'm going to pay. I'm not having no free <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we're down here uh, fishing on an event. And what's your sort of first impressions back then? Is first impressions back is it's, 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 it's bigger than I remember. Yeah. You know, it's, um, I know it's like, is it what, 60 acres Six, or something? Yeah, just over and, 60 acres. And I didn't realise it was that big, you know, me fishing on, is it Winter Point? Winter Point, yeah. So we can see a lot of water. But then there's even more behind us, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know. So, but it, no, it, it, it's great, you know. And, and even like this little bit here, you know, like yeah. all the memorabilia here, it's just, yeah. it's, it's brilliant, you know. And it's what it's all about: carp fishing, and it's what carp fish, carp fishing's about. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, you're on about the size of it. A few years ago, I bought a kayak, and I thought oh, I'll paddle around in the kayak. And I, and I got it out. I did a lap around the edges. I got out. Oh, right <laughs> <laughs> it's like it is, it's, it's one of those yeah. things you're like, oh yeah, that looks all right, that looks easy. And then you try it and you're like, oh, I think I'll have a motor on the back of it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, yeah. Well, actually, when I got it, I, mean, I read somewhere you can go from here, let's say, down past the Houses of Parliament on the Thames. Oh, right, yeah. And I thought, oh, I'll do that. Oh, no way. But then after one lap round here, I thought, <laughs> no. yeah. No, but that, that, that from let's say, to the, to the like London, it'll take you a long time. Yeah, because yeah. me and me and my wife Frankie, we've kayaked quite a bit. At All the right. Times. Yeah. So like from Sonning right right down to like Maidenhead and that area. So yeah, it, take, yeah, yeah. it takes a while. It takes yeah. a lot longer than what you think. Yeah, yeah there's a, the, on YouTube there's a few clips, there's a few pub stops on the way. Oh and yeah, stuff. yeah. But the thing that put me off most were the locks. There's a lot of locks. Yeah, I thought, yeah, yeah, I know, if it's scary. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. You go in there, we do, and there's a, these massive boats in there and yeah. stuff. And, yeah, everything <laughs> sloshing about you thinking we would like a needle in the haystack here you know yeah. it's just tiny yeah, yeah so I abandoned that plan yeah. so uh, but right uh, how did you start fishing then out in, in the first place um, well I started way back well I say way back I was probably yeah way back I was 22 yeah. <laughs> a long time ago um, and I was doing it to so I used to play golf to try and relax when I was playing football and then sometimes I'd walk off the golf course more frustrated than I'd walked on because yeah, yeah, I yeah. played rubbish um, so then I started and I was at Birmingham City and um, my brother-in-law my ex-brother-in-law we went we went fishing um, we went to Cuttle Mill but, right. but on the on the they used to have a little match lake yeah, I don't yeah, know what yeah. it's like now they used to have a little match lake at the side of it we used to go up there and I was like float fishing you know as you do and then you hook like a carp like it was a, my first fish was a two pound carp yeah and i was like wow that's massive. <laughs> and then all of a sudden you know it's like you know you, you chuck it out again and then you hook something and whoosh off it goes and you've only got float gear on it's like yeah. snap you're like wow what was that <laughs> <laughs> you know and, it, and, it, and that's what that's how it happened with me you know then i started getting more into trying to catch these bigger fish yeah. um and i don't I, do you know what i don't think i ever fished cuttle, the main cuttle mill no. Um, late, but I saw a twenty-five pound common on the bank, and I was like, "Wow!" Uh, you know, and by, you know, it's still a big fish, but by then it was, you know, a good fish that. Uh, and um, yeah, and then from then on, I went from from Birmingham to QPR, came down to London, and I started fishing Farlows. I used to live uh, in Ivor, yeah. you know, uh, so I started I started fishing that. Did you manage to do a bit, quite a bit of fishing when you were playing or? Um, yeah, like so it, whenever I used to get a day off, say we'd get Wednesday off, I'd go Tuesday night. All right. You know, uh, but then it got less and less because, <clears throat> especially with Arsenal, because we started being really successful and then we started being in more European games or more European competitions, that meant that the Wednesdays was playing. Yeah. You know, so we didn't, you know, so then it was just trying to grab a couple yeah. of hours or whatever. And, you know, so it, it, it tailed off a little bit and then 
but then when I, once I retired, I started again. Um, but I'd be, then, I, then I got into river fishing. I moved yeah. onto the uh, onto the River Thames at Marlow. I lived on a, a little house there, a little townhouse thing. And um, it was ace because it was like there was a private mooring that was part of the complex. All right. And I could just and it got a couple of boats parked, you know. And I just used to pile the bait in, and then I'd watch. And, and in one season, I had. Well, I had three different thirties, and my dad had a thirty-pound common. All oh, right. Oh wow. Plus other backup fish as uh, well. And where's that from then? At Marlow. Oh, so right. just up river. So where the the bridge is, Marlow Bridge, literally two hundred yards up river from that opposite um, Higgins Park. Yeah, yeah. It's Higgins Park where Steve Redgrave's there with all his yeah, yeah, medals around his neck yeah. and everything. <laughs> I used to wake up to that. Morning, Steve. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and it was free fishing. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so that got me into the rivers. And, and now I live on the River Kennet, you know, so uh, I did that for quite a while, but I'm, I've now proper got the bug back for my, for for my cat, cart fishing. Yeah. You know, I'm currently on a, a five session blank, so I need yeah. to catch today. <laughs> <laughs> cat fishing does that to you. You, yeah. you have a few good sessions, you think, right, I've cracked this now, oh, and then mate, it kicks you in the backside. You know, and then and I went to, I, I've got a ticket up for Emily Pit 3, and my first fish out of Frimley Pit 3 was split scale, 40 to 8. Oh, wow. I was like, yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, but, you know, and then I've had, I've had a, a 30 pound mirror on a, on a zig from there as yeah. well, you know, so it's getting back into it. But I'm fishing, I'm not fishing easy waters. I want to catch a big one. Yeah, yeah. If possible, you know, yeah. but it's, you know what it's like, you know, yeah, you, yeah. You, you don't mind waiting and waiting a bit, you know, it's because there's places that you can go and like you can go to runs waters, can't you? Yeah. And get bites, but. I, I love doing it. At yeah. the moment, I'm camping more than I'm fishing. Yeah. But that, that's kind of all right. I was saying to someone the other day, he, he was saying he was fishing in like 100 acre water before he camping. <sighs> but the big one, I thought, well, yeah, that's... I know, yeah. You know, it's like the, when you think of that, you think you're in like 100 acres and there's only that many carping. And you're yeah. like, whoa. But then there's a chance of a... Yeah. yeah. You know, and they, these guys are the professional fishermen, aren't they? You yeah, know? So yeah. they'll, they'll, if they do catch that big one, they'll earn out of... That's right. Yeah. Oh, getting that, yeah. you know, the little social side of it, the social media side of it. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, it's, yeah. I mean, the, the carp industry has absolutely blossomed in the last yeah. twenty years. And it? and then, as, and especially with COVID as well, I think a lot more people that they took yeah. up fishing, didn't they? Because they could do it. It was probably one yeah. one or two of the only sports that they could do. Yeah. Any time you speak to anyone in the trade, just when we came out of lockdown, we're like boom town. Yeah. Like I said, I think a lot of people are. Oh no! Yeah, you know, so it was, off, yeah. yeah, it was. You know, and, and all the tattle shops were like they were empty, yeah, they? Yeah, and then they yeah. couldn't get any stock, could they? Yeah, you were falling <laughs> up. I wanted to be for yeah, <laughs> about six months. Or yeah. Something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've seen you were with, with a few decent barbel as well. Where was yeah, that, that's out at Kennet, right? Um, yeah, you know, and, and we we do uh, every season. So they, obviously, the close season still happens on the rivers. Um, but then my dad comes down. My mum and dad come down. And my dad fishes, me and my dad fish on, so on the 15th of June, the rods are ready, uh, uh, the champagne's on ice, two glasses are waiting, and as soon as it hits 12 o'clock, I pop the champagne, fire a bit into the river, have a glass of champagne with my dad, we fish for about, well, I said we, he fishes for about an hour, yeah. and then go to bed, wake up. My dad normally beats me up the next morning, you know, because yeah, he, he's like so eager. <laughs> and then I go, to, and then uh, I end up being a ghillie for my dad yeah, for like yeah. three days. And, <laughs> and it's and it's been great, you know, this year we, he had, he had, I think it was about three barbel up to 11 pound. Right. Um, and then a few trout and, and a couple of chub. Yeah, yeah. You know, so it's nice, it's nice fishing. Yeah, yeah. It used to be really prolific, but it's, yeah. it's nowhere near as good as what it used it's to nice be. It's nice going with your dad as well. Yeah, it? exactly. Yeah. Do they still live up north? And yeah, still in Rotherham. Rotherham. Yeah, yeah, that's where I'm from. Yeah, um, yeah so I, I go up there, not often, but they love to come down. You know, my yeah. brother's up there as well, you know, so. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's home, isn't it? You know, so it's, yeah. uh, yeah, it's where I grew up, but um, yeah, it's, they, they come down there quite a bit. Yeah. They're coming down soon, actually, you know, to, to go fishing again, because my mum's going to um, Buckingham Palace. Oh wow! Because they, no, only because they open it up to the public, and Frankie's right, right. bought my mum and her yeah, yeah, got yeah. a couple of tickets, so they're going down to see Buckingham Palace and go inside it. And, they, and I'm like, yeah, I've done that. <laughs> got, <laughs> got Proper Northerners going yeah, down to see I know, the Queen. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, don't nick out. <laughs> 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 oh, dear. 
So when you were at Arsenal and when you went fishing, did the lads think you were a bit weird? Or yeah. They were like, so what, what do you do with them? Yeah. Just, yeah. They were like, do, do you like catch them and then just chuck them back? I'm like, no, you take a picture with them on a nice padded mat, you would weigh them and then and then you you gently put them back in the water. They're like, yeah, right. Yeah. And, and then, then uh, they've yeah. even got names as I well. I know, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. But um, yeah, some of, the, some of the Arsenal lads, they were like, if you get a phone call, we're with, we're with you night fishing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right then. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah any of them ever actually come with you? Know? Um, Alex Meninga, who was like my oh, number right. two. Yeah, he, yeah. He, like, he loves yeah. his fishing. Um, I took him to a place in Rickmansworth called Croxley Hall Fisheries and uh, got him his first 30. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah so yeah. that was really nice. Um, but yeah, I think since then, he because he's from Austria, so he's moved back there and he... Uh, he he, loved, he does love his fishing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Can't imagine Ray Parler yeah. going. No, I've, I've taken like Robbie Fowler. I did it on Harry's Heroes with Robbie Fowler and Paul Merson. Paul Merson couldn't get it. No, he no. He's like, what? <laughs> you know, and he was it's typical Paul. But, um, <laughs> yeah. And then, you know, but there's there's quite a few that, that go. Obviously, I've been fishing with Gazza quite a few times. Yeah. You know, I've recently done it with him as well, you know, and uh, we went to a little lake just down the road and, um, you know, we were catching quite a few on feeder. All right. You know, yeah, but yeah. like, you know, like carp up to about twelve pound. It was really good fun. I love Gazza, but I bet it's a nightmare to fish. Oh, oh, practical. Do you, know, do you know what though? He, he loves his fly fishing and he can cast a good line. But Gazza being Gazza, he's he put his tight fly on and he'll go one cast, two cast. Like, oh, that's rubbish, and he starts changing it. Right. right? So yeah. his fly is out of the water while he's messing about yeah. with it more than it's on the on the river yeah. on, the, on the lake or a river. But um, yeah, he's yeah he's a handful when he's fishing. He's a handful anyway. Uh, well, yeah, <laughs> I I know, I because I, I used to have to look after him, you know, in t tournaments and stuff. Oh like well, I bet that one is like, taking fishing. I'm like, oh god. <laughs> <laughs> I was reading this something the other day about when uh, Ralph Moat were going berserk up north and Gaza turned up oh, with fishing. Oh, I saw that. <laughs> no, I was like, so, was he a fish or a chicken sandwich? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> it's typical Gazza though, you know. <laughs> you know, he's, he's got a heart of gold, but sometimes he's got no filter on his mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love a footballer. Yeah. Jesus yeah. Christ. No, God. Yeah, People say to me, like, you know, who's, who's the best in, uh, player that you've played with? And I say, well, the English player is Gazza. Oh, man. I say, because he was, he was really special. Yeah. You know, and then. Obviously, I've got to play with people like Thierry Henry and Dennis Bergkamp. You know, well, so. I was going to say that. I mean, the Invincibles weren't yeah. a bad team, were they? They, they? Yeah, they they were good, but you know, they were just after me. So, like, yeah. you know, and a lot of people still think that I was part of it, but yeah. they were. That was the season afterwards. So, so they call themselves the Invincibles, and I call us before that the Incredibles. Yeah, well, because that, we, that's fair. <laughs> yeah, no, that's you know, we did. Fair. We won a lot of a yeah. lot of stuff. I mean, the football. The football Wenger played were just yeah. sensational. And he, and he changed it. He yeah, just went, came in and went, right, doing it this way. And it was a yeah. massive change, but it worked. I always think if I'd have been a footballer at Arsenal, I wouldn't even have bothered claiming wages if I could have watched Dennis Bergkamp <laughs> train every day. Yeah. I mean, that one about Gaza, but Dennis yeah, Bergkamp Dennis was is special. wow. Yeah. And, it, and he had a little nasty streak to Oh, yeah, him, for real, yeah, Which yeah. was a good one, yeah, you know, yeah, because people yeah. thought, oh, he's an, he looks like a really nice guy, yeah. a bit shy, but oh, they found out yeah. quick. I've seen you some know. clips of him where he, yeah, you know, he, if he someone, dig, if someone yeah, does he out, he'll give him a bit back, yeah. yeah. But like I said, that, it, that's, he needed it, didn't yeah. he? Because yeah, yeah, you know, he's, he's targeted by everyone. And he was targeted because he was a special player. Yeah, yeah. I've, uh, I've got a DVD, I haven't watched it for ages, uh, The Centurions, and it's got Dennis Bergkamp, 100 goals yeah. for Arsenal and Thierry Henry's 100 goals and yeah. what's that and you're no, just like imagine, wow yeah. that's a brilliant goal yeah. the next one they've not got one of my 100 saves I've got a Bob Wilson one yeah, oh, yeah. No, Bob. Yeah. yeah Bob was ace Bob, well, Bob was my coach for yeah, I've seen 15 bit, yeah. years yeah. 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 he's been my best man twice yeah. Yeah, so that's how much I love him yeah, yeah so. I think he was like I'm from Huddersfield I support yeah. Huddersfield but there's an unwritten rule if you're from Huddersfield you can have another team and Arsenal yeah. were all, well, no, yeah. I tell you I got there uh, growing up Alan Ball was my favourite player right so as a little kid I liked Everton and then when he went to Arsenal yeah. I went over to oh, Arsenal okay. with him and I, yeah. I've sort of stuck with him all yeah. through I don't go much so I went a few times in the 70s when sort of Liam Brady and Stapleton and them mm. over there yeah but, uh, <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. No, it's good times. Yeah. yeah. And it, it and it's it's been like it was always like that when I was there. 
you know, when I joined, I joined for the reason that Arsenal were expected to win things. Yeah. And so that's why I joined, and luckily, you know, we did. Yeah. In my first season, we win the league. You don't get much better than that. You oh, know, so, that's it. Yeah. 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 You're still in touch with uh, a lot of the lads there. I see, like obviously, the, like the English lads. Um, you know, see, I see Ray out and about on on the circuit. Um, so, but I play golf with Lee Dixon quite a lot. Uh, yeah. um, <clears throat> then me, Lee, Tony, and Wrighty. We try and get together once a year, like before Christmas, but with our families as well. Uh, Have a little Christmas get together with a bit of you know bite to eat and that. And uh, it's, uh, you know, it doesn't don't always work out, but we try and organise it. You know, because uh, people yeah. might be working and. Well, Tony's uh, partly doing Strictly. So yeah, well, so he's, he's going to be busy around right yeah. well to Christmas, yeah, isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, when he went managing Tony Adams, I mean, it, it wasn't massively successful, but he used to come out with some fantastic stuff. Oh, like, yeah, just, but like, like, you know, even like there's a clip of him, isn't there? Like a famous clip of him, like doing this, like they put music that's to right, it. Yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. like a dance thing, but. He's trying to like organise the back four how he used to, and he's all about you know if that one goes in there, these have to come round and yeah. and when I saw it, I knew exactly what he meant. Yeah. You know, because we were taught that through with George Graham and that that back four, it was drilled so many times on what to do, yeah. and um, you know that's what exact that's exactly what he was doing. I knew exactly what he was trying to yeah, say, yeah, yeah. Um, but it was. Uh, yeah, it, it wasn't the best for Tony because he, he, you know, the team that he was with weren't that good either. No. So, yeah, and I think that's been the problem with Tony is that the teams that he's taken over aren't at the standard that he yeah. was at. Yeah. Know, and I think that's that can be difficult. For some, oh yeah, for some, I, I like, mean, great, great players yeah. that have tried to become a manager. I've always said that, and I, I think they can't understand why these players can't do what they could do. Mm. And that, yeah, that yeah. must frustrate oh, the life yeah, out of uh, Same with Roy Keane. Yeah. I mean, he, and he has, he has no patience anyway, has he? No, so, I mean, no, if exactly. you can't do what he can yeah. do, then you yeah. waste the space. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that, and it is, you know, I, and I can imagine that that's hard, you know. It's, yeah. you know I'm, I'm doing a little bit of coaching at Arsenal, but goalkeeping coaching, and it, it's nice for me just to go back to the to the club and back to the training oh, ground yeah. and, and, and yeah. see, you know, and, yeah. and then I, and I see these kids, you know, because it's mainly the under 23s or under 18s that are. I help with, and I'm, yeah. you know, obviously I'm there to help with the first team, like Aaron and people like that. Um, you know, who I do speak to quite a bit, but um, yeah. you know, it, it's great to see how good they are at their ages. And I say to them, I say, like, technically, you are way ahead of what I was when I was your age. Yeah. Yeah. They find that hard to believe, yeah. you know, because I think, you know, because like what I went on to do. Yeah. Then yeah. it's, you know, but I just, I, I said, no, seriously, I said because. But they've had coaching since they've been about eight, nine, and ten, yeah. you know, all the way through. That's right. Yeah, yeah. You know, so it, it, it does it does make them better. But then, as as it always boils down to, it's like it's what's between here, yeah. you know. And can you be that goalkeeper when you're under pressure? Yeah. yeah. That's the big. How do you come back from big, a disappointment? Yeah. Is a big. Yeah, you make a mistake. Like. If you make that mistake in the first five minutes, are you going to be a wreck yeah. and really lose the game? Yeah. Or can you like get your game back, get yourself back together? Yeah. And then produce again. Yeah, yeah. We had uh, Emil Rowe Smith down at Huddersfield a few seasons ago on loan. Mm. And, uh, he, he looked every bit of the player he's yeah. turned out to. Uh, but that's what I mean. So technically, he'll look way ahead of a lot of the other players. Yeah. But he needs that first team experience. Yeah. He needs yeah. that game time. Yeah. You know, because in in games things happen. You know, he'll get a tattle that he doesn't like. You know, does he react or does he just get on with it? You know, all all them, these sort of little incidents that happens in games. Yeah. Are great for the experience yeah, for, when, oh, yeah. for when it yeah. comes to the big stage yeah because every day is a school day yeah, yeah. I know exactly yeah we should really be talking about fishing <laughs> no, no, yeah. <laughs> yeah. speaking of which have you got any tips to catch these carp because <laughs> at the moment no the, the, the weather's baking I, I know oh, it's it, you know. it's incredible yeah no you know, there's, there's a lot of pro anglers on here and, they, and yeah. even they're like struggling aren't they so I'm, I don't feel too bad but, yeah so. there's a lot of lines in the water as well yeah. and, well we've got one more night so yeah. You know, it's um, hopefully it happens. Yeah, we know. If he does, we'll have a picture on here of me holding a massive fish. Yes, definitely. So if we'll the picture doesn't appear, you know what's happened. <laughs> 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 yeah, Winter Point is normally a sort of morning peg, so. Yeah, so it wasn't uh, this morning. No, no. <laughs> the fish in here are bloody weird. But they, yeah, but they are. And then, but then you can hit it, and, and we know that, we, that all of a sudden they'll turn up, and you can get quite a few of them, can't you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's why. Sometimes you get people phoning up and say, oh, 
I was it fishing, what's been coming out? I'm thinking of coming down. He said, well, there haven't been a lot out. Oh, I won't bother then. Yeah. And I think, just yeah. come. It, yeah, it's, I know. It's no it's good waiting for it to it's happen. Like, yeah, and that's that's another thing that like like the players, like the Arsenal players and that, couldn't get their heads around. They were like, what, so you could like, you can go and you don't catch? Yeah. And like, <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, they're like, why? You just put your bait in and they eat it, don't they? I'm like, God. <laughs> and you can never ever tell it. You know, and I say to them, I say like, and then I say things like, I've got, oh, I've got like a, a an echo sounder on a, and a bait boat and, and a, like a little fish finder, whatever. And they're like, you mean you have to find the fish? <laughs> I'm like, yeah. I said because you could fish in one spot for a week and have nothing. I said, yeah. but you could have moved, and within two hours. If you move to where the fish are, yeah. then you might get them. Yeah. You know, it's different here because you know, we're all in our designated swims, but yeah. you know, it, it's about finding the fish. It's yeah. location, isn't it? But to be honest, the, the most consistently successful anglers on here are the guys that look sticks straight away. As soon as you see, uh, yeah. as soon as you see signs, yeah. go. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, the sort of spotting out all through the night after yeah. the fish and everything. And it's hard, you know, yeah. it's hard because like sometimes you get in a swim, you get your tent set up and you bivy and everything and then your bed chair and then like yeah. you're all set in nicely and then all of a sudden you're like, uh oh, they're over there. Yeah. And it's a hard decision to make, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I'm at the stage now, I think. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I'm a stage. I here. think I'm pretty much there as well, <laughs> if I'm honest. Yeah. It's probably why I've had five blanks. Yeah, well. <laughs> As long as I say, you're enjoying it and that, that's, oh, that's the main it. thing the, the sort of catching is what we all want but some people now it's the sort of be all and end all and it, it, yeah. it, there's so much more to it yeah. you know, yeah. and like I said just being there and just I know you know and, and then it's because like people said to me like what do you know you stay out overnight and I'm like yeah I've got, you know, I've got my chair I've got my sleeping bag and yeah. my alarms and that and, but then I'm out in the wild, you know, yeah. and you see, and I always bring my binoculars because yeah. you see so much, yeah. you know, like wildlife, you, like even like now, what, what are we like, October, like yeah. halfway through October. August. Oh, sorry, halfway <laughs> through August. And there's grebes with two little young ones yeah. that are probably only about four or five days yeah. old. Yeah. You know, that's late, isn't it? Yeah, they must have had a second act. Yeah, you, you know, know, and you see that. stuff like that and then. Yeah. There's all sorts going on all the time, and then when then massive planes come over, I love oh, that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, a couple of weeks ago we had the uh, Fairford uh, air show, and they all yeah. come over here, the, oh. uh, the red arrows and so. Oh, you know, I, I just love all that. I, I, yeah. A story I got went so me and my wife were coming back from somebody, somewhere, and anyway, we went through the Cotswolds and that, and then we went past Bryce Norton, and I was like, oh, I wonder if we could get go and have a look. Yeah. So I went into like the reception, and it was like. It's probably like the only time I really wanted someone to recognise yeah. me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but they didn't. <laughs> and I was like, oh, is there any chance of like Dita Tours or anything like that? They were like, no, I'm sorry, sir. It's a really secure place. Yeah. I was like, okay. And he was like, why? What, what, what are you looking for? I said, well, just to like watch the planes like landing and take off. Yeah. To be fair, the guy said to me, he says, well, if you, if you, and he showed me which way to go, like go on, and then go on the end of the runway. Yeah. Obviously outside the fence. <laughs> and then I was, we were just sat there in the car watching these planes come in and it was yeah. brilliant. Oh, yeah. I loved it. Yeah. There's, there's a road, if you go into uh, Carterton, which is a village next door to Bryce Norton, on the road, it must be in line with the runway. Hmm. And if you go at the right time or the wrong time, the planes are coming into and they're just above you and they look, they look still yeah. and they're like them. Well, that's, that's what we were on. We were on that road. Yeah, yeah. And I, I was at the top of my range <laughs> and, and I'm like waving and all yeah, sorts. Yeah. And then I was like, oh, they're getting a bit close. Yeah, yeah. You just think if that yeah, bugger yeah. falls out <laughs> now, that's me dead. Yeah. yeah. I know uh, the other way at Fairford uh, Airport, Air Base, it's mm. a, that's an American thing. And I went there to Farias, one of our other lakes one day, and there were two of them. Uh, Stealth bombers parked up. So, uh, oh, I'd love to see they, that. They just look. You're like, wow. You can imagine Captain Kirk coming out of one of them. They I just know. look. And so you look at it, you think, how's that going to yeah, get off the ground? Yeah, yeah. It yeah. looked like somebody made it out of origami black paper. <laughs> or but yeah, yeah. But yeah, fantastic. Right. I think I've taken up plenty of time. Brilliant. Yep. Yeah, I need I've, to get back fishing. Yes, indeed. Need, need to get back spotting. Get, yeah. get me zigs out. And hopefully, at the end of this video, there's a picture of you. Yes. Well, one like that. Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> David, lines. thank you very much, mate. Brilliant. Cheers. Thank you, mate. Cool. Nice one.